everyone in our previous lecture we discuss about the coupling constant which tells about the extent of spin spin coupling between two neighboring proton in this video session i will discuss about the factors affecting the magnitude of coupling between two protons so this is the table which uh, gives information about different uh, type of coupling constant between two neighboring protons either they are geminal protons or vicinal protons as you can see if they are geminal they have 10 to 16 hertz coupling constant in case of if they are situated on saturated carbon if they are vicinal they will have 6 to 8 hertz coupling if they are geminal but on unsaturated carbon then coupling constant will be small that will be from 0 to 3 hertz in case of unsaturated vicinal protons but they have cis conformation then this coupling constant will be 10 to 12 hertz if they are unsaturated vicinal but trans conformation then they will have 12 to 18 hertz coupling constant in case of aromatic compound the value of coupling constant is from 8 to 10 hertz now we will see what are the factor affecting these values why geminal proton on saturated proton has 10 to 16 hertz while these protons on unsaturated carbon have 0 to 3 hertz coupling constant value so we will discuss these factors so these are the some factors those affects vicinal coupling constant so first we will discuss about the factors affecting the vicinal coupling constant means 3 jj coupling so these factors are bond distance between the protons angle between the two ch bonds and electronegative substitute two amps so first we will discuss about the dihedral angle or angle between two ch bonds so the actual magnitude of the coupling constant between two vicinal protons like ha and hb depends between on the dihedral angle between these two bonds means this ch bonds and this ch bonds so the angle between these two bonds will affect the magnitude of coupling constant means to 3j coupling so as you can see the in this two ch bonds there is no angle they have zero degree angle while here these two protons are approximately at 90 90 degree bond angle so according to carpless reaction the magnitude of the splitting between two protons like ha and hb is greatest when the dihedral angle either zero or 180 degree and is smallest when this dihedral angle is 90 degree so in this graph you can see when this bond angle is zero or 180 the magnitude of coupling constant is higher as this bond angle goes up to 90 degree around this magnitude of coupling constant is around zero so this is the relation between coupling constant and dihedral angle given by car plus now at zero degree and 180 degree the overlapping between ch bond is maximum so this is orbital at zero degree angle and these are the orbitals at 180 degree angle so higher will be the coupling constant here because higher the overlapping between the ch orbital in case of 0 degree and 180 degree so while in case of 90 degree the overlapping is minimum so smaller the coupling constant value now these are the some example of cyclohexane molecules having different bond angle between ha and hb if we see two xl xl proton those have dihedral angle 180 degree the coupling constant between ha and hb is 10 to 14 hertz if we discuss about the protons at excellent equatorial position the coupling constant value is only 2 to 6 hertz because dihedral angle become now 60 degree which is lower than 180 so dihedral angle decreasing the value of coupling constant also decreasing now if we see about equal equatorial equatorial proton they also have bond angle approximately 60 degree so they will have coupling constant value again 2 to 5 hertz so this shows that as bond angle decreasing means from 180 it approaching towards the 90 degree the constant coupling constant value is decreasing in the another example of three membered ring if we see these two proton ha and hb on cyclopropane ring here the bond angle between these proton is approximately 0 degree so they will have maximum coupling constant that is from 6 to 12 hertz as we have seen in carpless relation that if bond angle is 0 or 180 coupling constant will be maximum in this they have around 120 bond angle between ha and hb so as you can see the coupling constant value is decreasing because it is close to 90 degree now 
This is the example of epoxide. If H A and H B has zero degree bond angle, the coupling coefficient value is four to five hundred. But if bond angle become one twenty, the coupling coefficient value is decreasing. It's now two to four hundred. So this example shows as coupling coefficient is approaching towards the ninety degree from zero or one eighty, the coupling coefficient value is decreasing. Dietal angle was the major factor to affect the coupling coefficient value. But some other factor are bond length. valence angle and electronegative substituent they can also affect the thiljer coupling or vicinal coupling so vicinal angle means the angle between this is ch bond means this bond or this bond bond length means the bond uh, the length between two carbon and electronegative substituent presence on carbon also affect the value of coupling constant so we will see one by one so higher the bond length lower the coupling constant means as the bond length decreasing between two carbon the value of coupling constant is decreasing we can see with these different bonds the bond length between unsaturated carbon is 154 ppm so they will have a coupling constant value around 7 hertz but if they are in a benzene ring because now this bond length become 140 ppm so coupling constant value increasing it went up to 8 to 10 hertz now in case of alkene the bond length is 134 ppm so coupling constant value is 10 to 12 hertz so you can see as bond length decreasing from here to here the value of coupling constant is increasing another factor is valence angle so valence angle means the angle between this ch bond so if we see the ang the angle between this ch is decreasing from cyclopropane to alkene Cyclo cyclopropane has highest bond angle between these ch bonds so it will have the lowest coupling constant value in case of cyclobutane this has less ch bond angle than cyclopropane it will have higher constant higher coupling constant value than cyclopropane in case of alkene the ch bond angle is minimum so we will have maximum coupling constant value so it, it tells as when valence bond angle increasing the coupling constant value is decreasing now third factor is the electronegativity substituent so as you can see in case of cis vicinal protons the coupling constant value around 11 but if replace this phenyl with oph this coupling constant value become around 8 hertz means presence of electronegative substituent decreasing the coupling constant value because they will pull the electrons from the bond so there will not be better communication between the orbital so less communication between the orbitals lower the coupling constant value in case of trans we know the vicinal coupling value is 16 hertz but if you replace this phenyl with ops this value remains 12 hertz so again presence of electronegative substituent also decreasing the coupling constant value so it shows as electronegativity of the substituent is increasing the value of coupling constant is decreasing so these are the other factor beside the dihedral angle those affecting the vicinal coupling constant value now we will see the factor affect the germinal coupling constant value means 2j coupling so the extent of germinal coupling depends on the bond angle alpha between two ch bond so this is the angle between two ch bond and the magnitude of germinal coupling will be affected by this bond angle as this bond angle is increasing the magnitude of coupling will be decreasing lower the bond angle between ch bond higher the coupling constant value so the magnitude of electronic interaction between the two ch orbital decides the extent of the coupling constant that is 2j coupling constant so in general as the angle alpha decreases means this angle decreases the value of 2j germinal coupling constant increases because as the angle alpha decreases the two ch orbitals comes closer and as a result electron spin correlation become greater so these are the this is the bond angle which affects the coupling constant in germinal in the case of germinal protons so this is the relation between coupling constant and the bond angle between the germinal protons as bond angle increasing the value of coupling constant is decreasing so these are the some examples of germinal coupling between two protons so if the bond angle between these two protons on same carbon means these are the germinal protons and bond angle is 109 degree so the 
magnitude of coupling constant is 12 to 18 hertz but if this bond angle become 118 means it's increasing the magnitude of coupling constant is decreasing Mag the j coupling is now 5 to 7 hertz again if this bond angle increase further the magnitude of coupling constant decreasing means from 5 to 7 hertz it remains 0 to 4 hertz now in case of 120 degree bond angle this is the another example of germinal proton coupling in case of 107 degree bond angle this coupling constant is 7 to 8, 17 to 18 hertz but if this coupling constant increase slightly means from 107 to 108 the coupling constant value also decreasing slightly it remains 15 to 16 hertz so these were the all factors affecting the vicinal coupling and germinal coupling constant value so thank you very much